What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt, and today we're going to be talking about Rashad Weaver. Should the Colts go after him, or should we look at other options? I'm going to give my thoughts on Rashad, but before I do, if you're new, click the subscribe button. It would help out a lot if you did so. Also, click that bell icon so you're notified when a video goes up, as well as when we go live. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Rashad Weaver. So let's get into Rashad Weaver. Um, he plays for Pitt. Um, I did not know a whole lot about him prior even though the Colts or uh, Notre Dame plays Pitt um, pretty much every year it seems like at this point but I didn't know how good this guy was and I'm honestly surprised he's not mentioned a little more than what he is we look at his numbers here um, he is 6'5 270 pounds good height I like that size but look at his numbers in 2020 and he's been pretty good in 2018 as well he didn't play in 2019 which I don't know why but you know there's that 34 total tackles last season, 22 of them were solo, 12 were assisted, and seven and a half sacks, three forced fumbles, and one fumble recovery. You look at 2018, 47 tackles, 31 were solo, 16 were assisted, six and a half sacks, two forced fumbles. Honestly, he has some of the better numbers with the edges in this uh, draft. Is he, you know, running four threes? Eh. Not really. He runs a 4.83. That's his weakness, I would say, is he's not the fastest guy in the world. But, you know, still, you look at the numbers, he's super productive. You know, he was tied 17th in the country. You know, tied 6th with the um, fump, uh, forced fumbles. He was tied 17th in uh, sacks. I should have said that, too. I realize I didn't. But still, this guy's numbers, I think, are really good for, um, you know, playing at Pitt, um, you know. So I'm honestly really surprised we have not heard a whole lot about Rashad Weaver because I've watched him play. This guy gets to the quarterback. He really does. He's really good on those one-on-one -on -one, um, matchups between the offensive line and himself. He gets to the quarterback. He, you know, is strong. He's, you know, big. I like this guy and I like the numbers I see. Um, like I said, I have no idea why he didn't play in 2019. I'm assuming he got hurt and was out for the season, but hey, you know, it is what it is, but still, and that we got to understand too, those seven and a half sacks, that was in COVID time. He didn't play an entire season. I think they played what, 10 games in the ACC, I believe so. So there were still two games. Those numbers would have went up a little more and his numbers would have been more impressive. So I'm looking at the numbers right now and Odds are this guy's going to be a second round option. So do I think, depending on what happens in the first round, because even though those numbers are great, he's not my first guy as far as the edges that I want to go after. I don't even think he's in my top three. He might be my top five, but if he is, he's number five. If not, he's right outside of it. Um, but with that being said, you know, just watching how he plays and just, you know, seeing the numbers and everything, I would definitely like to have him, especially if we go left tackle first. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we're going to go edge first. But if for some reason we trade out of the first round or if we you know, trade and stay in the first round and take a left tackle, am I wanting to take this man? And I would say, yes, I want Rashad Weaver. I think for a second round option, this would be a really good fit for us. Um, I think putting him on our defensive line, with everybody we have right now will make it improved. It's not going to make it like top five, top three uh, defenses in the NFL, but it's going to improve it somewhat. This guy has the ability to get to the quarterback. He's big. You know, his numbers are very impressive. I like what I see on his game tape. Um, like I said, not the fastest guy in the world, but you know, he gets the job done. And I think that my, I think that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, so with that being said, do I think Chris Ballard would be interested in taking a uh, Weaver? And I think he would. Like I said, it honestly depends if we're going to take edge in the second round or first round. But if we go second round, I think this is one of those guys that Ballard has circled on his uh, list. I think this is somebody he's definitely interested in. Um, I think just like I said, with the way he plays, I think that's what Chris Ballard ultimately wants. He wants those talented guys. He wants, you know, the big guys. He wants to win in the trenches. And having a guy like Weaver on our team would definitely help us win in the trenches more than it would if we didn't, you know, go with an edge. 
right? Or if we went with a different edge in the second round, I think he would be a much better option. He's definitely one of the better options that would be an, a, a, a available player in the second round. Now, do I think the Colts are going to go after him? And I don't think so. I like the numbers, like I said, but I don't see the Colts going after him. And the reason why is because I think they're taking edge in the first round. And honestly, I think the guys they would take over Weaver and that I would take over Weaver are going to be available, whether they trade back and stay in the first round or they stay put at 21. I think there's going to be better options. I think Jason Owe is going to be an option. I think Gregory Russo is going to be an option. So I think that's kind of their focus right now because I don't see Quiddy Pay falling. If he does, bring him in. Uh, if Jalen Phillips falls, bring him in. I don't think that's going to happen. They're top 15 players, maybe top 18 at the you know lowest as far as where they'll be. Um, I don't see them falling past 18. So I think we're taking an edge in the first round. I'm very confident that's going to be the case. So I don't think Weaver is going to be an option at that point. So there we have it. Uh, so thank you all for watching. If you're new, once again, please click that subscribe button. It would help out a lot if you did so. Also click the bell icon so you're notified when a video goes up as well as when we go live. Like the video if you like it. Let me know your thoughts on Rashad Weaver down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I've been Matt. Bleed blue. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.